Hey, welcome to the MP4 Doggy review of the Samsung uh, YP P2H. Uh, now, let's just get this out of the way right now. This is a clone um, or copy of the real Samsung um, uh, YP P2. And it's, it's, if you take it for a clone, it's a very bad copy because the real Samsung uh, YP P2H um, actually has uh, a touch screen and it's really nice. And this one we're going to treat just as a regular mp4 player because that's really what it is but it has a lot of um, little different features that actually makes this a really great mp4 player if that's what you're looking for for the price first to start off um, you're gonna get the box and I know it says Samsung on it, it says Samsung uh, mp4 and you're gonna get your standard um, you're gonna get your 5 pin USB you're gonna get your headphones and you're gonna get your wall charger okay and you and you're gonna get the player itself now, now the player itself looks uh, like the YP P2. Um, you know, it's got the same, it's actually the same body. So you could go to your local Best Buy or whatever electronic store and get if it has a case for it or it has a, a uh, shield for it or whatever, you can get that for it, and it will fit this player because it's the same casing. Um, the the uh, the player itself has. Um, it has buttons. It has a but uh, the power button is located on the uh, lower left hand side, and the volume buttons are located on the right side. Um, it, it's, it's a really minimal player. It's got the USB and a 3.5 millimeter uh, headphone jack. Let's go and turn this thing on. Now you're going to see a Samsung startup screen. Now this is a rock chip player, so. Um, you know, it might, if you know anything about the rock chip, see, it says a Samsung P2H. I've Googled this thing. There is no such thing as a Samsung P2H. I've been to the Samsung site. I can't find it. So, um, long story short, th this is just a copy of, you know, it's put in the same body, um, but it's not, you know, it's probably not even associated with Samsung anyway because it it's a rock chip player. But if you forget about all that and just take the player for what it's worth, it's a, this is a great player. It has a a touch button interface so there's really no hard buttons to touch everything is done by these two buttons right here um, the, these are your scroll buttons they'll take you through and then and the button in the middle right there is like is the enter button so yeah so let's start right here so at the very top we have video music um, photos FM, so it has a radio, stopwatch, um, ebook, uh, media a library, which is like your explorer, really, uh, recorder, because it has a microphone also, and settings. So um, it does have a built in speaker and the microphone um, uh, slot right here, and the reset button is um, on the upper, it's on here. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. The reset buttons in the back. So, but the player itself is fantastic. Now, one thing we found out while going through settings, and we tried it, and it works great, even in the U.S., is this player has, and I was surprised, it has TV out, and the TV out works great. And I'll show you that on an, another video, just so you can see what the TV out works great. See, you can change the format NTSC. See, so you can change that. Now to to get back into the menus and stuff like that all you have to do is hold the main power button which is the big blue um, donut button right in the middle and let me show you this player is really really great I know it sounds like I'm hyping it but it's because it actually is a good player I was really impressed as far as videos it plays AVI's FLV's it plays MP4's so that's um, you know the quick times format um, and it plays. Um, I haven't tried XVID or DivX, but but I'm but I'm sure it may play those now. So plays AVIs, MP4s. Um, is that exit? Okay. Oh, well, I just want to. Okay, so we're gonna play something right now. So now the volume button's right here. So I'm turning it down. <laughs> 